Hello everyone. So this is the part two of structure elucidation by NMR spectroscopy. In the first part, we have learned how to calculate chemical shift value of a given organic structure by remembering some base value of a given functional group and the chemical shift induced by that functional group. But in this video, we will learn how to interpret structure from the NMR spectra or NMR spectra to structure determination. Both are the same thing. So let us understand by taking some examples. So we have a molecule over here and this is the spectra of this molecule. And we have to I, we have to check whether this is the spectra of this molecule or not. So this is the actual NMR spectra looks like. These are the delta value which is written over here 1 to 14. And there are various peaks corresponding to the uh, uh, your structure. So we have to identify, we have to check whether the structure is present or not. So before proceeding, I would like to tell you some very important things. First of all, this spectra was recorded in CDCL3 solvent at 400 to 500 megahertz frequency. Okay. Apart from your desired peaks, there will be some certain peaks which you have to keep in your mind. First peak is solvent peak which you have to keep in your mind. Since it is recorded in CDCL3, so there will be corresponding to that peak that is 7.3. For CDCL3, it is 7.3. But it, but if you are recording the NMR spectra in DMSO, then solvent peak will be approx 2.5. Apart from that, there will be a moisture peak. Moisture peak that is H2O peak that will be approximate for CDCL3, it is approximately 1.5, and for DMSO, it is approximately 3.3. You have to remember this value, okay? Apart from that, there are integration value over in the horizontal line, which is uh, shown over here. So, this value, these are the integrations, integration which tells about the relative ratio of protons of a given organic structure molecule, okay? Now I mentioned the peaks over here. This is our solvent peak that is uh, 7.26 for CDCL3. Okay. Now second peak over this. This is a moisture peak approx 1.5. This is a moisture peak and this is you know very well. This is the TMS peak. Okay. So apart from the, that, apart from that peak, we have to see whether the uh, our desired peaks are present or not. So first we will look for the aromatic protons. This proton A, B and C. I mentioned over here. Okay. So A, B, C, there are three aromatic protons. So let's see what are the protons. Since it is connect, C proton is connected to the nitrogen, it value should be far away from the other two values. Okay. So look at over here, this value corresponding to the C value because it is connected to the more electronegative. So its value should be more. And these two A and B are, and these two protons are A and B. Okay. Now let, let us look the methoxy proton and I already told you this value approx will be 3.5 to 3.8. So let's look about 3.5 to 3.8, three protons. So look at the value over here. These three protons, these three protons are, I mentioned over this proton by D. So this is our methoxy proton D. Now let's look other protons like N-methyl proton. I already told about this, these two protons will be approximately to the three which we have calculated. So these are the three protons of uh, N-methyl protons. Mention it over by uh, E protons. So this is our E protons. Now there are remaining remaining three types of protons. So this first, second and third. So I also mention it by F, G and H. So let us look how, it, how we can predict from this. So let's look for H values. Okay. So first look uh, the H value, H proton, H type of proton. So it is connected. First of all, it is CH2 type and its values approximately should be 1.3, but it is connected to chlorine. So it will shift by 2 and it is also connected to aromatic system. It will connect by 1.5. So total will be approximately 1.3, 1.5, that is 2.8, 2.8 to 2, 4.8, approximately 4.8. So look at the value over here, this type of proton. This is our H proton. So now let's move forward for F protons and G type of protons. So we very, we all know that it is connected to the nitrogen. So it should be approximately 2.8 to 3 for three protons, two protons. So this is our uh, two protons, 2.8 to 3. This will correspond to the F proton, F type of proton. Now only remaining is the G proton, which can uh, you can very easily predict. That it is connected to the uh, ester type of mole molecule so it will be approximately to the 3.5 value so, so this is 
G type of proton. So all the different type of protons present in our NMR spectra. So the our compound is confirmed by the NMR spectra. spectra. So this is the way you can analyze the uh, NMR spectra of a given molecule. So let's look for uh, another example. So this is our uh, second example. All the molecules are same except chloro here it is present OS. So only we have to identify it whether the OS protons are present or not. So let's quickly start uh, our analyzing the NMR spectra. So first uh, we will analyze the aromatic protons. There are three types of aromatic protons. One, two, three. So these are uh, present over here first and these two protons. Okay. So now uh, it is a methoxy proton. So again it is a methoxy proton over here. Now it is a N methyl proton and methyl proton present over here. Uh, three protons okay now this ch2 and ch2 these two ch2 are present over here and here okay now what will you say about this type this ch2 proton see this two ch2 proton present will be here 2.01 these are already i have predicted uh, in the first example so i am just quickly revise all the things okay now the only proton which is left is oh proton and we all know the oh protons are variable which i already told in my first video so its value can be come around 0.5 to 5 so we have to check whether it is a present or not second type of characteristics of oh and nh protons are they can be the broad signal so we have to look the broad signal so, so look at this type of proton this look like a broad signal so this is 0 0.6 which belongs to approximately one proton and this is our oh proton so from the nmr spectra we can say that the desired signal of this compound are present in nmr spectra but apart from the desired signal there are are some other signals also present these two signals are also present so these are the impurities these are the impurities okay so we can say that overall conclusion we can give that the compound is present but this is impure compound so from the nmr you can easily say that whether the compound is pure or uh, impure you can easily tell okay so till now we have discussed lots of things apart from the multiplicity of a protons. So you all know very well about the multiplicity which tells about the splitting pattern of a particular type of proton. Suppose let us take an example. Okay, You must heard about the singlet, doublet, triplet, quartet. This is all about the multiplicity. So let's look about this type of proton, this type CH2 type of proton. Since it is connected to the two hydrogens, its multiplicity will be n plus 1. Since here there are two protons, so 2 plus 1 that is 3. So multiplicity will be 3. So let's look, these two protons will be triplet. So similarly, these two protons also will be a triplet. Again, this, since it is not connected to any active hydrogen, so it will be singlet. And again, this, this OH will be triplet or singlet. This depend upon its purity. Now this N-methyl proton will be singlet. Now this uh, hydrogen will be singlet and this will be doublet and this will be doublet okay so this is all about the multiplicity and the uh, spectra and the structural determination of organic molecule so i just want to ask you the question about the multiplicity if you know very well it is a very easy ch2 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 and i just want to it is connected to r suppose it is connected to r and i just want to ask the multiplicity of this type of proton so what will you say about the multiplicity of this type proton? So there are two protons adjacent to it, two, and there are two protons also adjacent to it, two plus two, now add one, that is total n plus one, okay? So you have to solve by this method, okay? Just counting the neighboring proton and add one proton to it and you will get your multiplicity, that is five, that you can say simply multi multiplate okay so the only topic which i left over here is a coupling constant so which i am going to discuss with you so let's discuss about the coupling constant so i just write over here coupling constant okay so what is this so coupling constant is nothing but this is the distance between the two peaks of, of a given multiplate okay suppose we have a multiplate like this okay so what is the coupling constant? Coupling constant is nothing but the distance between two adjacent peaks. Distance between this and this peak is called the coupling constant and is denoted by the J. And what is the importance of this coupling constant? Actually, it gives a lots of information about the coupling of protons. How? Let us take an example to understand it. Suppose we have a molecule over here, CS3, CH2, C double bond 
and OCS3. So this proton will be triplet and this proton will be quartet and this proton will be singlet and the proton of this value have a coupling constant of j approximately 6 and this proton also have a j value of approximately 6. So what is the meaning of these two coupling constant value? If the coupling constant value is same that means these two protons are coupled. That means these two protons are coupling and because of the coupling they are split the signal of each other this is very important line okay this is very important line so by the coupling constant you can easily see you can easily say whether these two protons are adjacent to each other or not so let's we have a two type of proton first is cs3 and suppose we have a second type of proton ch and let us uh, uh, let us say its j value is x and its j value is also x then you will say that these two protons are these two protons are adjacent to each other adjacent to each other that means these two protons split the signal of each other this will split into quartet quartet because of this cs3 protons okay and these three proton will be doublet because of this CH protons because both have same coupling constant value that is why the these two protons are coupled and split the signals of each other this is the significance of the coupling constant so this is all from my side and the NMR spectra determination is completed you can easily predict the NMR spectra of any molecule easily by uh, remembering this type of concept so thank you so much for watching this video